All right, hey guys, welcome back to another discussion video. And today we have a Reddit thread and uh, it has a nice little question to ask. And uh, I wanna give my opinion, see what the devs, well not see, but kind of show you guys what the devs are thinking about it and just overall see what the community is thinking about it. Like always, I'm gonna link it down below and let's check it out. So the discussion is, is Bandalore Combat AI ever going to change? Now let's see what he means by this. So he states, I think we can all recall times we went from winning a battle to catching an unlucky crossbow bolt to the neck, upon which all of our surgeons suffer catastrophic brain damage and turn to a totally one-sided slaughter into a losing fight. That is actually true, but it's gone better as the time has uh, passed. Uh, he states, personally, after being engaged with... What is this? Don't tell that. What is this? Dog. What in the world? All right. Personally, after being engaged with 700 Imperials against 14, uh, no, 1400 uh, Sturgeons, I managed to see 800 of them dead with 100 fled, suffering only 200 friendly casualties. After having turned 1400, uh, after turning 1400 verse 700 into 500 verse 500, while, be, uh, while behind my line directing, I caught a horse uh, rider's javelin to the face, and my commanders decided to abandon and carefully ch chosen positions of my lines, lose our entire main 500 men, killing only another 50 Sturgeons. It's gone to the point that auto-resolve is genuinely more balanced than the actual battle, actual battle AI, because in auto-resolve, numbers matter most, and my commanders can't lose my 150 legionaries to a couple of snow bandits through Backwards facing shield walls. I agree so far. This post is mostly an event, but I'm also curious if anyone's seen Tailwolf's comments on any potential changes in this area, even something as long as a toggle in group commands for keep followers previous orders or charge upon a character's death would be nice. I've seen countless army wipes to, uh, to situations where just sitting where a place formations or simple F1, F3 would win us the day with or without me helping. All right, so. I agree with this post. What happens is once you do die, uh, what happens is um, your companions or other um, clan members that are in the army or that you're fighting in, they do take control of specific uh, units. Uh, you know, some take control of the infantry, some take it. Same thing if you were a vassal inside of an army and you got into a huge battle, you can kind of choose what position you want to play. And what happens is they all choose their positions and they, are, they all start just playing. I don't know if it's completely random. I'm pretty sure there, there are some calculations of what they should do depending on how much numbers they have, how much the enemy numbers they have, and all that type of stuff. But they do not follow one uh, signified um, thing. They, they Unless there's only one commander that commands everything. They usually do their own thing. And I do agree it's kind of annoying. But... I kind of, okay, so here's the thing. It makes a little bit of sense because if your ruler or like if your main guy falls in battle, the morale should go down. That's usually a, a thing, right? But it shouldn't go down to the point where it's just huge chaos as well. There still should be some, some type of, you know what I mean? Like there should be a morale loss, definitely. But it shouldn't be, you know, as he said, you know, it turns something that should have been you know, a good fight in your favor, even though it was against your favor, you had like the better troops into pretty much a, you know, a slaughter and all your guys die and you lose the fight. I agree that that is a problem. It has gotten better over, over the, the like patches that we have gotten, right? But in terms of dev responses into something like, you know, keep previous orders or charge upon character's death it has not been talked about. And unfortunately, I've not seen it anywhere. Um, F1, F3 would win us the day. Yeah, I've, I've personally not seen it anywhere. It's a good thing that might be able to be like brought up, but unfortunately, this is not something the devs have talked about. But I do agree. Now, with that being said, I this caught my eye as well. Uh, caught my eye as well. So uh, this, uh, what's called, person that commented uh, states, to me, the biggest problem is how reinforcements spawn out of nowhere. They should come from the outside the map, unable to attack or be attacked until they leave the respawn area. Or something similar this is something i also agree on i think a big reason um that 
what's it called, big battles are broken, especially when you don't have control, is here's the thing. If the enemy gets an advantage on you, right, and they bring a lot of uh, troops, like a big amount of troops, couple hundred, um, you know, let's say 40% of what's allowed on the field, 40, 50, maybe 60% of what's allowed on the field, it's very easy for them to clean up because they are going to be literally in your respawn area and your units are going to literally respawn in the middle of like a hundred, two or three hundred group of uh, soldiers and they will get instantly wiped. So if you're not controlling it, um, you know, if you're not controlling your army and you're not standing back in the right way, what happens is you, you pretty much get trapped. Your respawn point gets completely overrun and then you're pretty much just, you know, as soon as you as soon as you spawn in, you die. As soon as you spawn spawn in, you die. You get some kills, but they usually wipe out everything that you have, and that's a big problem. And I think that does um, actually coincide with um, the issue of once once uh, the main uh, player dies, then all of a sudden the army just becomes idiots, right? So um, I think this right here, if you post this on the forum, this might be a good thing. This might low key be something that's viable that can be changed. Uh, something as in, you know, once I fall, keep the following previous orders or charge um, after the character death happens. I think that could possibly happen. And that would be a cool formation to even have that you can call out before your death. If you can call out this formation before your death, like something like, oh, well, I don't even know because I don't do too much formations, but let's say F1, for example, for example, let's say F4, F7, you can make this command into saying, hey, if I die, keep previous orders, or if I go down, keep previous orders, or let's say F4, F8 would be, uh, if I die, charge. Something like that, I think could be very viable and could be very possible. Again, those are examples in terms of like the positioning of the formations, but I can definitely see that actually happening. And this right here, also a huge problem. This needs to be changed. I think the change makes complete sense. Make it the same way that you spawn in. Same, like it's literally just moving the spawn point back. That's literally it. And in my opinion, I I really like, look, um, this whole unable to attack or be attacked until they leave the respawn area. I don't even think you should have that. You know, make it, make it kind of close to where the area is. You know, make it, less than 10 seconds away because you know how like as soon as you get out of the um map region you have 10 seconds to go in before you automatically retreat right so make them spawn like six seconds away or something like that right or or two or maybe like five seconds away so they can run in same way they can still attack it's whatever but make it out there you know make it farther back because the respawn point now is just if a battle goes on for too long, your positions might get pushed back so far to the point where your respawn point is actually in front of where all your troops are and they just get slaughtered as soon as they respawn. So it is a huge problem and I think it should be addressed. Again, the devs um, have not said anything about this either, which is again, unfortunate. Let me uh, upvote that, I do agree. What else? The companions are actually extremely intelligent. Upon their commander dying, they analyze the current strategy and conclude is this a, wait a minute, hold on, is this, is this, is this a bait, hold on, um, upon their commander dying, they analyze the current strategy and conclude that a strategy that gets their commander jabbed to the face is obviously a fatally flawed one, and they use textbook strategies such as moving their archers down from the hill to the front, okay dude, okay dude, I knew this was going to be a troll post, good one, good one, and putting the infantry behind the archers with their shields down by splitting with the cavalry in two and either mindlessly charging them or sparing them from the uh, combat entirely, they can ensure a 45% chance of, of, what is that, a something victory, a chance of success be, uh, beyond expectations in a 7 versus 1400 skirmish. True. <laughs> good one. Uh, good one. But yeah, um, I think definitely this can be brought up. These commands can be brought up. But unfortunately, nothing has been said by the developers, which sucks. I wish I had something to actually say. But um, it is what it is, right? Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a good idea, bad idea? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.